Hello folks and welcome back to episode 2 of Stranded Alien Dawn. Modding and creating your own survival. In the last episode we created our own new character. We learned how to create one from scratch and we also learned how to bring that new character in. Uh, Today, we are going to learn how to bring in a weapon. Okay. Now, I've been practicing a little bit off of a line, and um, I'm trying to learn how to scale the size of it, but we're, we're not going to worry about the one I was working on. So, we're going to go back to our stream mod. We're going to go ahead and turn it on, and then we're going to go ahead and open our mod editor. Uh, and if you don't know how to open that, well, basically just uh it tells you right here mods are created by software packages that modify your game experience use them at your own risk we do not examine monitor support or guarantee these user created content download and playing with mods via steam workshop is selected by the steam subscriber agreement okay so that's kind of new that didn't come up earlier so the game must have updated since the last episode but we're going to learn how to create our own little weapon and stuff like that. Uh, and then as soon as I figure out how to scale the uh, weapon down to a different size, then we will scale the weapon down to a different size. But anyhow, I uh, hope that each and everybody is having an awesome Christmas holidays and stuff like that. And from my family to your family, we want to wish each and every one of y'all a happy Merry Christmas. And... I hope you get lots of gifts and all that stuff. Um, and if you remember, every time you start the mod editor, it always brings up the, um, obviously, you can see I've had it started four times today. Um, it always brings up this. That way you can go through here and see how to. Okay, sorry for the interruption, folks. Uh, my recording software just kind of cut out on me. <laughs> Um, but we restarted it and stuff like that. Um, but as I was mentioning before it cut out, and there's going to be a break in the video. I'm uh, sorry for that, folks. Um, it always pulls up the mod editor in the browser, the, the tutorial or the documentation of it and stuff like that. But uh, let me bring up the editor screen for the other side because it always brings it up on my second screen. Uh, we're going to go ahead and go back into our uh, stream mod that we was working on in the last episode. And we're going to kind of minimize this. We're not going to close it, but we're going to kind of minimize it out of the way. And just kind of make it itty bitty 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 because we really don't necessarily need that. I mean, we can minimize it totally completely out of the way. Uh, let me bring the other mod editor window up there we go right there all right so last stream we or last episode we uh learned how to bring in our modded character okay which is modded ken okay so that's how you bring in a modded character okay now if you don't want the modded character but you want to mod different types of uh let's go ahead and pause that real quick by hitting the space bar and then bring our uh editor back up uh, this works really well folks whenever you have dual monitors it works outstanding well when you have dual monitors but I understand nobody not everybody can have dual monitors let's just kind of move this right here and then just kind of bring that down right there it gives us a little bit more working room um, alright now you don't have to do modded characters you can mod assets and stuff like that so in this episode as I was mentioning we are going to bring in our own gun turret Okay, so we're going to come up here and we're going to click new and you got to have kind of a base knowledge of what it is and where it is and stuff like that. Okay, but we're going to do two things first. We're going to learn how to um, uh, create a new build menu so that we can place our new mod deterrent or any other type of building into the game okay whenever I say build menu I'm talking about 
one of these little icons right here. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to have to do both of those today. Uh, before we get started, let me uh, make a little call real quick, a very important phone call real quick. I'll leave put it on speakerphone for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Calling somebody very, very special. If they're going to answer their phone. <laughs> Hello. Good evening, beautiful woman. Do you want to say hi to everybody on the, uh, well, it's not necessarily a live stream, but the stream just as well. And we was wondering if you would be so kind as to bring us a cup of coffee, if you don't mind. Want press? Please. All righty, thank you, ma'am. So for those of y'all that don't know, that lovely, awesome person is my fiance. Yes, y'all heard it here first, folks. The chief is getting married. I know. Now, we are actually going to be live streaming the event um, in my Discord as of right now. That way, all of you can follow and join in the wedding and stuff like that for those y'all that live around the world and, and things like that now we are not quite sure of a date and time just yet it'll probably be middle of this coming next year uh, <clears throat> but we will be live streaming that to the uh to my discord when the event comes and everybody will uh, be notified ahead of time and stuff like that but yes, folks, that's right. You heard it here first. The chief is finally getting married. I know it's crazy. I'm excited. I hope you're excited. But um, now we're still debating on whether or not to live stream that event to YouTube because I don't have a thousand subscribers and all this stuff. So um, YouTube might not let me live stream the event through my tablet, which um, I have a tablet that has its own cell phone signal and all that stuff, but YouTube might not let me do a live stream through that. But I can do a live stream through my Discord, and that's probably where we're going to go ahead and do the live stream is through the Discord. And I'll set up a uh, a text channel in the Discord to where y'all can write y'all's text and comments in that channel because I won't be able to hear y'all because I'll be getting married. But It'll have uh, two camera aspects. One will be behind us, um, so you can see that perspective. And then another one will be right by the pasture where you can see both of our faces and all that stuff from my cell phone as well as my tablet. So that will be two different perspectives of the stream. Then I'll have to move the cameras around once we get married to the dance floor and to the reception area. That way you can... Uh, see us have our first dance as a husband and wife i know it's cool it's exciting but anyhow i wasn't uh, ready to let everybody know that but it just kind of happened good morning soon to be mrs uh westfall <laughs> she says it's still night folks but anyhow now that we got all the good news uh over and all that stuff booker quit giving your mother a hard time <laughs> yep booker says hi guys no don't it's too early in the morning to be barking no <laughs> he's ready guys he's ready but okay so where was we at before all the good news and the distraction oh we are going to uh, create us a, a new build menu icon build category uh, let's see is it a uh, I remember how doing it but I don't <laughs> remember how doing it uh, build menu category there it is all right so we're going to uh, create that uh, for those of y'all that didn't catch that I will go ahead and it will be under buildings, build menu category, okay? So this right here, we're going to name this uh, mod, uh, well, I can't spell. Uh, let me move my mic down. That way I'm not going around the mic and getting out of the mic's path so you can hear me. All right, see, mod gun, okay? Now, if you notice, I did not have a space between that. You don't put spaces between the words up here in uh, 
the ID in any asset. Now, what you can do is you can do this mod underscore gun. That right there will work, okay? Now, uh, we want to copy that. Let's look at our icons real quick, folks. Let's uh, kind of raise that up so we can look at our icons. Let's go ahead and copy it from the defense section right there, okay? So, yeah, we're going to come up here and we're going to copy from defense. Uh, there we go. Beautiful. And then we're going to bring that in. And then this here is going to be enabled. And this is going to be, this is what tells the game, all right, this specific build category is going to be allowed in standard crash landing, the uh, scenario where you create a military outpost. This scenario, robots, is the new guardians scenario uh, with hope and stuff like that, as well as the new trading scenario. So we're just going to highlight those. Uh, category, um, it will be in defense because it's, it's a defense. Uh, let's see, uh, object display name. Now here, here's what we can do. We can go mod gun. Okay, now we can put a space in it. Okay, uh, object description, uh, mod gun steam uh, video. All right, and I think uh, construction cursor hint, uh, steam modded gun, okay? And then the build menu display name is going to be mod gun, okay? Build menu description, um, our modded the do 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 gun from steam uh stream sorry uh <laughs> i'll get it right guys i need to change that over here too thanks for letting me know there we go stream all right and i think i think that is The, the template build menu category. Okay, I think that's going to be it. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to be it right there. All right. So, now that that's done, let's go ahead and bring in our new building. All right, so we're going to go back up here to new. And we're going to go down here to buildings. And then we're going to go to uh you have balcony material build menu kit category or building so let's go ahead and select building okay and it'll bring up this screen right here all right now let's just go right here and we're going to create our id for it and we're going to say ma did underscore gun now we don't have to do the underscore but if we don't do the underscore then we have to take the space out of modded and gun okay if we don't do the underscore then we have to have it look like that okay but for this purpose we're just going to go ahead and use the underscore all right and then we're going to go ahead and hit enter to lock the name in all right now if you notice there is a setting that says this class the class for this preset has not been generated yet. It needs to be saved before it can be used or referenced from elsewhere. Okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go in here because it is a defense turn. We're going to select that group. Then we're going to go down here and then we're going to select defense turns as well. Uh, comment. Um, we're just going to go ahead and write in our modded stream gun. Okay, and we're just going to go, go ahead and end, end, end that with a period. 
All right, now what we want to do is we want to create a copy of the uh, turret underscore machine gun. That is the, the, the base gun that you have uh, when you start the game. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and select that one. And then it's going to, do you want to copy all properties from defense, turrets, turret, machine gun? The current values of the mod item properties will be lost. Yes, we want to go ahead and create that. Okay, right now it is hidden. We want to enable that. Okay. And then before we get all excited, we want to go ahead and save that right there. Okay. Now before we get even more excited, we want to go ahead and come down here to display name. We're going to type in mod space. Okay. Then right here, display name again. Mod. Uh, oh, lost my spot. Mod space. Turret. We're going to go ahead and type in mod space. And the reason we're doing that is because anything that we mod, we want to be able to distinguish it in the game. So we're going to go ahead and have mod put at the front of the name and all that stuff. Okay. Thank you, Mrs. Uh, Chief, for the uh, coffee. Um, now we're going to go on down. We're going to scroll on down, 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 down. All right, here we go. Here is the build menu category. The build menu category that we just done earlier right here is mod underscore gun. So we're going to select this. And we're going to look for mod underscore gun. Okay. So what that does is that tells the game, hey, we want to build this new asset. And we want to be able to build it under this tab itself. Okay. And here in just a minute, you'll see uh, what we're talking about. And we're going to go to that. Oh. And mod underscore, or not underscore, but mod space gun. Okay. Now, we're going to go down here to construction. <laughs> this is where it gets fun, guys, because you can make it not cost nothing or something. So, this gun, we don't want it to cost metal. We don't want it to cost CPU core, but we want it to cost uh, scrap metal. And for just this purpose, we want it to cost five scrap metal, okay? To repair it, uh, we'll click this tab right here. It says repair cost. We want it to uh, cost scrap metal as well. And we want it to cost five scrap metal, but we don't want it to cost metal alloys, okay? Now, right here, it says construction points second. That is how long it takes for your survivor to build that gun. For this, this purpose, we're going to make that five seconds, okay? So that's all ready to go. Now we're going to go ahead and come on down here. And when you just deconstruct this specific weapon or tutorial or gun or whatever, we want to take off the CPU cores, and we want to go ahead and just get our resources that we put in that okay and we don't need to worry about any of this other stuff right here um, then we want to go down right here is a very important line this is what level does your survivor have to be before they can build this specific turret well we want to go ahead and make that level zero meaning that you do not have to have a crafting skill in uh construction or crafting or anything like that to be able to build this we want all of our survivors to be able to build this this specific turret okay then what we're going to do is uh components right here the components tab now what we want to do is we want to, okay, malfunction over time is literally what it says is in time, the, the turret will kind of self-destruct and 
become disabled and you'll have to go repair it, okay? But what we want to change is we want to untick power component, okay? What that does is that tells the game, hey, we want our um, turret to not require power, okay? And once again, we're going to allow it to, this mod to work in crash landing, military outposts, robots, and trading. I forgot to go over that with y'all early on that, okay? Now, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and save that. Okay, now, with that being saved, if you notice that our menu down here did not change, that's okay, folks, because what you have to, sometimes I've noticed you have to just kind of back out, go to main menu, okay, your editor's still going to remain open in the, in the background, see down here? All right, now you want to go back to Mod Manager and Mod Editor. And it should reload everything properly. Sometimes you have to do that. Um, I don't know. Okay, it has not loaded it. Let's find out why. Uh, let's kind of... Uh, Let's, let's see if we can find out why it has not loaded. Build menu category. That is enabled. Mod gun. Mod ID. Okay. We gave it a name, didn't we? Yeah, we gave it a name. We copied it from the fence. Okay. Hmm. Maybe. Let's look. Defense. Entity defense turret. Let's see. Let's look real quick to see. Because we done something or something. Maybe we need to remove the core device and let's go ahead and save that again all right build menu category let's go back here hmm let me look real quick Let's go ahead and uh, save this again. We might actually have to restart the game, folks. And that's okay. Uh, let's look in here. Mod gun. Ah, there it is right there. Okay. It, it put that in a um, a different uh, selection. So, <laughs> all right, let's uh, see if we can undo that. Uh, so, that would be uh, right here. It would be... Uh, Uh, let's see if we can copy this from, well, no, that would, uh, uh, let's see here. I, I think I just template build menu category button, uh, build menu category, build menu item. I think it's this one. Let's see. Okay, the uh, all right. Let's see. Defense. Um. Let's see here. Give me just a sec, folks. We're gonna figure this out. <laughs> um. What did we do? Uh, let's copy this from uh, defense. Okay. Let 
the menu category. Yeah, that should be it. But it is not doing that properly. So it, sh it should be another icon right here. But that's okay if it's right there. Um, so I'll have to figure out what I've done wrong on that. All right. Now we can build our little uh, gun right there. Okay. So while they're going to get to work on that, let's go ahead and see if we can... Uh, uh, copy this from uh, oh let's copy it from science okay let's just do that okay Ah, right, there it is right there, okay? Why it didn't uh, use the uh, uh, defense thing, I don't know. So let's go ahead and try to copy from the defense button again. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, now let's go ahead and have somebody build another one. Did we save it? Yeah, it should. Uh, uh, let's go ahead and type in mod defense. Okay. And it should have been copied from the defense. Uh, yeah, it should have, but it didn't. Uh, hold on just a second. I think I may have figured it out, guys. Let's see. Uh, what, what was the one we copied from science earlier? Okay. I was looking to see if it changed this right here. All right, um, let's go ahead and change that to mod defense. All right, and then let's go ahead and save that. And it should reload that, but for whatever reason, it it it, and that's all right because we might have to actually restart the game, and that's fine. But anyhow, here's your turret right here. Okay. It doesn't require no power or anything like that. And you can build as many of them as you want. And it's just like an early game defense. Now, keep in mind, the more towers or turrets you build, the more difficult your waves of attackers will be. I have not found anywhere where we can turn that down so but before we go let's go ahead and uh go to main menu and let's go ahead and load our mod manager back up our mod editor and let's see if it automatically fixed our little icon build thingy all right there we go see right there mod defense okay so that right there is where we will put all of our <laughs> steam for danger. Woohoo! But okay, <laughs> that, that was funny. He was running. But see, here's our little icon right here. Here's our little build category and stuff like that. So that is us bringing in a turret that costs only five scrap, that is unpowered, unmanned, and early game and stuff like that. Okay? So, folks. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and in the next episode, we're going to learn how to create our own region, region or scenario, one of the two. But anyhow, 
I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have any questions or comments, by all means, by all means, get in the comments field below and ask your questions or join the Discord. And I should have a link somewhere in the descriptions for my Discord and stuff like that. But as always, guys, happy gaming. And once again, happy holidays. Merry Christmas and a happy new year.